Okay, so this video is one that I find uh, a new app that's out. I'm focusing on this app, which is called Fluss, I believe. It's by Bram Bros. And I'm not, I'm not, uh, what's the word? The person that likes to do a lot of app reviews. So if I really do an app review, that means I actually like the app a lot. Um, because there's so many people that can do app reviews better that probably understand the app. So this isn't going to be to help you understand exactly how the app works 100%, because I don't know, because I just got it today. But it's to kind of show you why I like it. So I love ambient music. I like granular stuff. I like um, exploring outside of my typical style of music that I would be drawn to, which is more like jazz, R&B. So there's a pedal out called the Microcosm pedal that's pretty big. And you'll see some people use it for to make like ambient textural music. Some people use it to run their synths through it, to try to make it, uh, to give them different sounds. And it's kind of like a mixture of delays, reverbs, granular stuff and whatever else is going on in that that pedal is pretty pretty intense um so i want that pedal really badly but the pedal is like 400 dollars, and i don't want it that bad 450 bucks to where i was like really considering it just because with the s the op it just enhances so much more you can do with it um but it's expensive and it's not something that I would say go out and get unless you really love that sound, right? Well, they dropped an app. It's what, $13.99 and probably the best $13.99 that saved me the $450. Uh, sorry about this squeaky chair, which I hate so much. Um, but anyway, so it's called Flus. This is So I'm going to show you the two ways that I would use it. So this is me using it as in making a... Um, taking a piano sample. This is just a basic piano sample. This little knob over here kind of pitches it. So if I go. Right. This blue spacing here is where the cutoff is. So it doesn't go beyond. It's like bar barricading the stuff into that little section. You can bring any wave you want in. It could be drums even in here too. You have this speed XY pad with the speed and um, scan speed and the pan mode. So you can play with that to filter stuff. You have the grain level filters. You have like the octa octave and the pitch of each one. So you got three going at one time, right? Here's the scan speeds. This is the filter section with the cutoff, the wet. You make it more wet. It's gonna have the filter the resonance cut off, and then you got types of filters you can use. It's simple is what I love about it too. It's not overboard, hard to figure out. And a lot of times you get stuff that's so way out there, it's, it's really hard to understand. I don't fully understand this section yet. I know it's probably something to do with ADSR, maybe something like that release and all that, uh, but I need to figure it out. You can save presets, but they also have like instrument presets they have built. You can see it right there, percussive stuff, pianos. Then you have a processor, which is cool. So you can use it as a processor to do different things. See how they have maxi cosm and mini cosm in there. So different presets. And then you got, I made this user patch that you're hearing now called Piano Dreams. So you could take a simple sample and basically turn it into something that's really like moving and something that sounds very lively. Down here, there's a scale mode. I don't fully understand it yet. I'm gonna have to, I mean, I understand what chromatic, all this stuff means, but I don't understand how it works yet. Um, it says quantization. So I guess if you're trying to quantize it, if you wanna go unquantize, That's really exploring. So this is a custom scale. I'm just basically using chromatic. You can switch it, which is kind of cool. You can switch mid 
or take one out. So you sort of can play it. And I feel like that's the cool part about it is that you can play the instrument. See that, how I can switch. If I know the chords I kind of want, or the notes I want. So maybe I'll go F to let's say A. Back to C. If you want to do a scale, then it shows you that the notes in that scale. So we could do like, a, what is this, minor? That's my speakers, by the way, it's not the app. Um, this sound card, I hate it and love it. It sounds good, but it sometimes it'll do this cutout thing, which I don't understand why. So ignore that. Anyway, it's really cool because it feels like a real, more like an instrument slash pedal, I'm gonna call it, because you can move stuff around. Um, and then you have an ambience, feedback, how much feedback, the size, how big you want it to be. So they call it shimmer, which is cool. And then you have your output. So that's basically the app. I added in here um, the crystalline reverb and found this dark and moody one, but you can, there's a ton of uh, crystallines. Are, I, you know, I didn't like it at first, to be honest with you, but it's grown on me a little bit since I've been messing with it. And it, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's the uh, the end all be all reverse, but it's pretty cool. And they have a ton of effects. I do think they need to resize it to where it fits. This is an iPad mini six, but this is like, when, when I stretch it out, it doesn't get bigger. It should, like, I wanna see the words a little bit bigger. Do something to enhance that. But anyway, uh, now I'm gonna, let's see how this uh, reverb. So I switched to reverb, it sounds a little different. This is a filter I had on it just to, um, I'm gonna take the filter, I'll let you hear it. So even adding extra reverb on it, outside of their reverb, you can do a stack reverb with it. Sounds pretty cool. All right, and it of course is gonna adjust if you adjust the tempo. So I have it playing at 80, which is slow, but whatever. So I was like, I wonder what it does when you, of course you knew I would try a scaler, right? I did try that. It doesn't work with that. I don't think, I'm not sure how that would work. And I tried it and it just didn't work. Um, because I think it, they have the, so that would be something. If I had one suggestion, I would say, allow the person to play the so sounds on, like MIDI it in and play it if they want to, versus the, being forced to use, um, these scales or just going unquantized, I guess, if you don't care about the scale part of it. But if you want any type of um, quantization or rhythm or something going on, I'm not, to be honest, I've never used Scala. I don't even know what Scala is, Scala import. So I would have to look that up and find out what that is. Um, this is probably my second Brambos app that I've purchased. I think the first one was Gauss and I, I, I liked, sort of kind of liked it, but my problem with it was it was so complicated at times to where it was above my thinking ability. And this one is total opposite. I think it's super usable. It's got more things with it. And it's like, I don't know. I just find it easy to, to understand. All right, so what would it do if you put it in this section? So I'm gonna do this so you can see this. So if I go in here, pick it, you'll see it gives you two options. It's a processor and a recorder. I haven't touched the recorder yet, but the processor is what I have here, right? So I think what it's doing, hold on a second, why did it do that? Okay, so what I have it doing here is processing whatever the instrument is, right? So I'm using the radio. That's the sound card. Sorry, doing the glitchy part. Just 
Turn the feet back down. Sound card, sorry. Just to... So this is cool. So you want to remix a song, kind of make it granular, do your thing. This is doing it live too with the radio AU app that I got that I told you about in the previous videos that I like so much. So you could come up with your own little whatever type mix using this is just basically an instrument then you want to explore expanding it maybe turn looks like you can do up to six seconds i'm gonna just narrow it down and you can move it around too See, I like this. I, I feel like this is kind of, um, this is a different side of me, which it, it moves, which is more like the, I don't want to do something that's so uh, by the book type music. I want to just explore sound and just create something on the live or even build a sample off of this because you can make your own sample. crazy with that So if you hook Koala to this, right, you can put a Koala below this and then sample into that using this as the, as the filter, as the effect or whatever that you're processing it through. And one thing that's dope is like right here, you can name the preset if you like that preset to use it for something else. So that's kind of cool. Oh, I like that. The way that sounds is kind of neat. Okay. So... You can see already just like coming up with a new, like maybe you, you hear some sounds on the radio, you want to take a sample and you want to kind of make your own vibe with it. This thing is amazing for that. But it's also amazing for like I was showing you here, creating like a soundscape or um, the ambient vibe and maybe using it texturally across the background of a song really lightly and then adding everything else over the top of that. So... I'm, I'm floored how great this is. But anyway, um, let's see. Let's keep it going. I think he said he worked on it a year and a half to get it too. And they did an excellent job. So there's other apps. You could actually stack other stuff with it. Like I love EOS uh, 2. Just started getting into that because I'm a huge Valhalla fan. And supposedly they had their hands in on that. So if you like audio damage stuff, grab that. Um so what was the other thing? Oh, I wanted to see what the recorder is. So this is live. I don't really know what this is for. Oh, okay. It looks like it's just, let me let me open it up a little more. So it looks like you can record in live while something is going. So let's try this. All right, that's enough. OMG, this is amazing. I'm sorry, it just got me got me pumped. So you hear it playing that? 
So it's basically just recorded whatever sample I brought in live, right? And now I can start playing with that. So you have, man, this, I'm telling you, this audio interface is going to drive me crazy. Did it cut off again? Yep. It's based, basically because it's plugged into my computer. And when the computer goes to sleep, which I thought I set this computer not to go to sleep until I tell it to, but whatever. It's cutting it off. So I'm not sure how to fix that. I have to look at that. So... If you put it in the middle, it stops everything and holds it. So if you like that one sound, you just want to linger on it. Otherwise, you start moving around. It moves, too. So you can see up here it's starting to move. So it's a recorder. It's a processor. And it's an instrument. It's literally all three in one that you can use in various ways. So let's say you want your drums to be processed through this with some kind of, you could put some drums in here, get them going, right? And, ko and koala or whatever you use, and then run this beneath it and have your drums do all kinds of tweaky stuff if you want, if that's your vibe. Or you can take it, process it, and get a sample off the radio and record it in, right? And then process that sample. Or you could just use it as an instrument, bring in a sample. So I'm gonna do both now. You heard the recorded piece. Look at that, isn't that crazy? Oh, I just love it. Sorry, I got a little pumped right there. I'm gonna take this out because it's not really doing anything. I'm using the Belize compressor. I always, I don't know why I just gravitate to grab this one and just run it in a basic I just use it as a basic to kind of enhance to beef the sound up a little because otherwise that still sounds good but it's not i like it a little compressed then i probably would add over here my hay i love haze uh cleb grants haze i might do it like that and if I want to make the sound even stronger, then I'll start adding, like, I got Grand Finale 2. I love that. Or I might use, um, I definitely will use Barricade a lot. Or if I want to make this sample sound really bit crushed. I built my own little one in here that I like because I like the pocket operator sound. So, But it's not in here. I think it's on my phone. I need to send that over, actually, speaking of. But we'll just use what's in here for now then because I don't have it on this the preset that I made. But here's a 12-bit. I like it to be... I'm going to do 8-bit. By the way, I'm the kind of person where I hate having to sit here and do this. So I'm just going to go... Just punch a number 8, hit return, 8-bit. And 32, I'm going to go... I want it to be like 23. So I get the same principle. I get tired of waiting on it. So I just go... 23. Now it's kind of sort of like a pocket operator vibe. You hear that? And then let's say I want to pull something out. Bring it in when I want. And so the possibilities are endless. Crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. We'll just call it uh, plus flush. That sounds interesting. Flush exploration. I don't get pumped about apps too much. 
um, because for a while I kind of got bored with a lot of the iOS stuff just because it felt like it was all the same. But it's apps like this and that Radio AU um, unit that they updated that make me come back and be like, yeah, I love iOS still. I enjoy these apps. So now imagine taking that and then I can jump over and sample something off of there into the OP1 and use my OP1 with that to create music um, that I like or whatever I want to go with. So the, the iPad mini for me and, and the uh, S, not SP, I do love the SP a lot, but the OP1 field are kind of my um, favorites. The SP is definitely in there though. I, I it, it has to stay there. The only one that I'm like, okay, I could go probably without is the MPC. And that's only because I primarily use it for, or like it for, um, the fact that it's easy to do drums and sequence, but I could actually do drums on any of this, really. It doesn't matter. Um, so there you have it. I could put Koala in there if I wanted to start sampling parts. If I want to make it more structural or if I want to be free from the structure, then I could just jump in and do what you see me doing here and just kind of. And this is something I'm really entertaining in my mind, like being able to not I get bored really fast and it's not bored of music. It's just bored doing the same thing. Like if I'm always creating the same type of style of music, I'll get tired of it fast. So I have to like constantly change up and do different things. And so apps like this make me want to explore and take it to that next level. Same thing with the Radio AU because it gives me different ways and ideas to sample. So this video was not intended, but this morning I found out about this. So I had to jump on it immediately. And hopefully if you get a chance, I think it's $13.99 right now. Um, I don't know if it's going to go on sale. It just came out. So, but I'm the kind of person where if it's going, if, if I like what the app is doing, then the money is worth it to me. I think I said this in the last video when I, when I did a um, OP1 field and the SP exploration of um, is it worth it? But I'll say it again. The, if it makes you happy and motivated to do music and pushes you to try things, then it's probably worth it. $13.99, is, it could be a lot for some people. So I totally understand that if it is. But for me, it it's, um, it's a matter of is it going to motivate me to do something with it or is it just going to be another app that sits on my iPad and never gets used? And for me, I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be using it to do all kinds of cool stuff. So hopefully it's something that you like. Hopefully it gives you an idea of what you can do. Again, sorry for the light pollution and sorry for the, this uh, interface that keeps turning on and off for whatever reason. So hopefully I'll get all that fixed and figured out. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'm out.